Here's yet another attempted fraud that we had to deal with. We're going to show you the results. We're going to show you how I took care of it. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at a whole nother attempted fraud by another buyer. They left fraudulent feedback. They left contradictory statements. We're going to show you it. At the end of the day, though, eBay did take care of it for us, and we didn't have anything to worry about. Let's hop over now and show you the details. So this feedback showed up today, and I immediately dug right in to see what the heck this person was talking about. Beware of this seller. I tried contacting seller to put a lost claim in with the post office. I was unable to contact the seller through eBay process. Called eBay, this seller has blocked his buyers, although he states he gives a re uh, right of return. Beware of this seller. I accidentally gave him one star for communications, and then they're trying to be funny in sarcasm there. Now let's go look at the item itself. You see the feedback. This is already gone, so you can't see it on our account. We immediately called eBay and had this taken care of. Now here's the actual listing itself. You can see it sold. I've blocked out the name and the people itself. It also says it was delivered right over here. So we can check in. You can click the tracking. By clicking the tracking, it shows again that it was delivered to a P.O. box in Simpsonville, Kentucky. So without a doubt, this item was delivered. No one's contacted me stating there was a delivery issue whatsoever. Now, the only contact I did get from the buyer is on the 11th of December, six days after the item was delivered, stating that they wanted the purchase canceled. Obviously, they already have the item at this point. There's nothing left to cancel. It's already gone and delivered to them. The money's already been, you know, delved out to me. They already have the item. So again, I just pretty much ignored this one. Now, they're not stating in here at all that the item was lost. They're not stating anything else in this comment whatsoever other than it was made an error and they just want it canceled. Again, it's already been delivered as we just showed you. So with the feedback, pretty much everything on here is a lie. They never tried to contact me to put a loss claim in with the post office. When I talked to eBay, I went through every talking point that they stated in here and made sure that eBay went through and verified any contacts between me and that buyer. Keep in mind, if it shows it was delivered, if a package shows it was delivered, all you have to do is contact eBay and they will remove a negative feedback. There's nothing else the buyer can do if the tracking shows it was delivered. Whether it was delivered or not, the post office is stating it was delivered. If for some reason it didn't actually make it there, even though the post office claims that it's not up to the buyer to deal with the situation it's strictly up to the post office because they are the ones who are in possession of it and clearly state that it was delivered there's a chance something could be stolen on the front porch but again that would not be up to the seller at all once again if it was stolen after it was delivered it would have been in the possession or on the property of the buyer and not on any accounts blamed on me for anything else like that that's typical of what you would expect they're claiming I was unable to contact the seller through eBay processes. Totally not true. Nothing that they stated so far is correct. They called eBay uh, and this seller has blocked his buyers, although he states he gives right of return. Well, eBay wasn't contacted at all that I can see in here in any way whatsoever. And eBay didn't confirm any conversations with them. Their comments from eBay were that this is contradictory to what they're saying in an email. And it even contradicts itself in here. They're stating that um, they had to file a claim because apparently the post office lost the item is the way it looks. But they later on in the very same comment here states he gives a right of return. Now, if the item was lost, how could they return it? So once again, eBay could see right off the bat that that is not correct. Once again, this is totally gone. You can look at the feedbacks below it. You can look at my feedback and see that it's already been removed. The easiest way, as I said, to get a feedback removed like this is for it to be delivered. Anything that was delivered, if negative feedback is left 
you can have it removed as long as it's relation to the item not arriving and that's exactly what it looks like they're they're doing here as well you could point out the facts that they contradicted their email statement the email states that they just ordered by accident in here they're stating that there's a problem and they need a claim filed through it so again they're contradictory statements in both cases, I would have been able to get it removed. I get it removed because they have it delivered and they're stating it wasn't, or because they're making contradictory statements. It's against eBay's rules to post contradictory statements and feedback as well. So you can't say that you wanted to file a claim, but yet that it wasn't returnable. So if you don't have the item, how could you return it in the first place? You also can't leave a positive feedback with negative comments. You can't leave negative feedback with positive comments. Those are all in the rules with eBay. It's all stated very clearly. eBay has always honored those sorts of issues with us every single time. This item was delivered. There's never been a complaint about it being delivered. They waited six days to ask to cancel it. Again, they have the item. So it's an apparent attempt to keep the money and through fraudulent uh, means try and actually keep the item as well. Now keep in mind these sorts of things are going to happen on eBay. Knowing the rules, knowing what eBay will or won't remove is key to your success doing eBay. I don't care what the reason is, as long as the item shows it was delivered, you do not have to worry about a negative feedback for the item not arriving or anything else like that. If they are stating in a negative feedback that they contacted you through eBay multiple times or contacted you about an issue and you never responded, they never got a response from you or anything else like that, eBay can instantly tell if you've had contact with a buyer. So buyers stating things that aren't true, you can have feedback removed for lying about things in the actual eBay email system. So if they state one thing to you through email and then they're stating something else in feedback, that is contradictory statements and an easy way to get that thrown out. Again, they never came to me and said there was an issue with delivery. They never came to me and said they needed to file a claim or anything else like that. I have one single message from this person stating they would like to cancel it after the item has arrived. The majority of the time, 95% or better of the time, we are able to get them removed because the statements either aren't true or the item clearly shows it was delivered. Sometimes somebody may dox you or post something in the feedbacks too that can get the feedback removed as well. A large chunk of feedbacks that you may get are removable if you follow the rules, if everything is on the up and up on your end. I try to take care of everything. Everybody here does as well. We always try to do the right thing. If somebody has a legitimate claim, we do try to help them, unless it shows it was delivered. And again, I, I do understand that sometimes a package may have been delivered to a different address or anything else like that. If a package shows it was delivered to their address, but they're stating they didn't get it, the first thing you should always do is tell them to check with the post office. What you may not understand and what most buyers have no clue on or don't understand is that the post office these days, GPS tracks where packages were scanned and delivered. I've seen them myself. If you go down there, sometimes they'll show you. It depends on how friendly the post office is. But you can show, let's say it was delivered on a different block. They can easily tell the post office, then that case would then be required to go and pick that package back up. I've, I've had them do that. I know that's the steps that they are supposed to take. Because if the post office is showing it was delivered on one street, not your street, it is obviously that person's fault. They can also, in many cases, look at the label at the post office to see the name and address on the post office. So the post office is always the first place I send a person to. You know, and then I worry about it from that point. Again, it shows it was delivered in 90% of the cases that we've ever had to deal with. Now, as a seller, I have no way to know if that buyer is being honest with us. Sure, you could just go ahead and refund them in those cases. But even if you refund them in those cases, as opposed to canceling the case, canceling the sale, you know, you're giving them the money and they'll still be able to leave you negative feedback. If you cancel a sale, obviously, they can't leave feedback because it doesn't exist anymore. So a cancellation will usually be your best route if you're going to go that route. But again, I wouldn't ever cancel a sale if it shows delivered. 
you have to understand that as long as it shows delivered, you are free and clear from them claiming they didn't get the package or leaving nasty feedback about it. So as long as you are in the right and you have your ducks in a row, you've researched everything, you know what the policy is, you should more than be able to get a large chunk of any of the negatives or issues removed from your account for various reasons. But if you're unaware of how eBay's policies or Amazon's policies or any other site you're selling on's policies work, you may be keeping negative feedback. You may be shelling out money you don't have to for a fraudulent reason to begin with. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Hyperdrivers are here and only talk has got them. Get to know what these about. Be a hyperdriver Hit the switch and go flat out. Rev them, race them, run them where the roads don't go. Be a hyperdriver Get to know what these about. Be a hyperdriver Hit the switch and go flat out. They're hyper fast. They're hyper tough. Hyperdriver means high performance. You can be a hyperdriver driver and feel those tires spin. Hyperdrivers. Each sold separately. Batteries not included from Taka.